Good afternoon, everyone. It's P. Moody. T. Moody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, so today's message is, where is your compassion like Christ, teachers of God's word? So the reason this came about is because we were watching some things. We've seen some things personally, um, and it just appears to be that a lot of the teachers that are supposed to be leading the people, um, they're not really uh, taking care of the flock it's more so uh, self-absorbed or it's a monetary thing they're not really praying over the people if they're sick or a hospital or whatever the case may be it's more so they're takers they'll take 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 they want you to give me give me give me but nobody's willing to go to the people's homes and pray over them or if they know they're sick or they're unwell or visit the hospitals or you know uh, those who are in need the needy and go out and help them and we're like well where is their compassion at? Or they're saying things about people that they just should not be saying, which God would not approve of. And it's like, it's a mockery. So we're looking like, where is the compassion? Like Jesus, Jesus would never do this. So why are these people who call themselves teachers? Why do they feel it's okay for them? Or they feel like they need to be, as the Bible said, they want seats of honor in the marketplaces and here and there. They feel like you're servants, but they don't even want to serve. They want you to serve them but they don't want to serve you. Jesus, my husband, you know, he'll get on touch on that, how Jesus was pertaining to this particular topic we're talking about. But it just seems like they're, um, a lot of them are on a high horse. Not everyone. We won't say everyone because there are ones that genuinely do, do out, go out and do and serve and do the work and do it the way the Lord our God intended for it to be. And others, it's just a profit for them. Um, babe, what do you think about this? Uh, what, what I think, what I think, what I think is, is that, and, and like my wife said, is that, that is that we we we've seen we've seen too many too many pastors spread false doctrine. They're they're misguiding the people, and and because of that, our I I want I don't want to say all all, but majority of of our of God's people are lost because because of the lack of knowledge because they're not being properly taught like they should have. Because because back back in back in Jesus Jesus days there there was no coarse joking he he didn't he didn't play around with God's word he made sure everybody everybody understood and 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 most importantly when 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 it it did not matter how many people he was teaching if there was one member of his flock that went missing he would have he would have recognized and he would go go tend to that one and the sad thing is that a lot of these churches is that. We 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 really. I'm pretty sure it. There are other churches that do that, but but in in a lot of churches, nobody really wants to do that anymore. Nobody nobody nobody's like my wife said. Praying either praying for either praying for the sick or feeding the homeless or or ministering to widows, orphan, orphans, and the elders because these are also God's people. And that's all I gotta say. And uh, what about the thing you said about Jesus? He served. Oh, he said. Oh, yeah, about that. Yeah, me and my wife was having a discussion about that yesterday, and Jesus. He, no, he isn't it? Oh, Jesus is the King of King, the Lord, the Lord, the God Almighty, and He humbled Himself enough to wash somebody's feet. So, if God Himself can can do that, the rest, the rest of the the people who are either pastors or ministers, bishop or whatever your title is, that's the, you have no excuse. Right. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, and good. Uh, what you said was right. Good, good work. Um, and it is true because if the King of Kings and Lord of Lords can come to that, He said to serve but not to be served. Then who are we, and who are you, to tell somebody, "Oh, do this or do that," or "I don't need to do this," or "You do it," or "You take care of it," but you don't want to get your hands dirty when. As my husband stated, like it says in the Bible, that Jesus washed his disciples' feet. You know what I mean? Like he's a Messiah and he didn't find a robbery to help somebody else and serve somebody else. So how would you feel that you're above somebody else or beneath them because you have a title, which in the Bible, it doesn't even say that you have a place of honor that high like that. You're a teacher. So you go and you teach, you're a man or a woman of God, you go and you teach. Okay. That's what it says, but it doesn't say anything that you are to 
be held on this pedestal like you're a king. Kings and queens had their places in the Bible, but if you're not a king in royalty, like officially, not because you call yourself that, but officially, then who are you to feel like you're supposed to be served or waited on hand and foot, but you don't want to even serve somebody else? Didn't you understand that he said the law of the prophets is treat people the way you want to be treated? Have you served anyone? Then how, if you haven't, how are you looking for them to serve you, but you don't want to reach out? You don't want to check on people. You don't want to help them or assist them, but you want them to go all out of the way above and beyond for you and call yourself a teacher, a preacher, prophet, bishop, whatever, prophetess, uh, minister, as my husband say. It's out of order. Get things in order. Look up your Bible. And people who don't know, look up, look it up. It tells you in the Bible. It has specific se sections that tell you what are the duties, even for a bishop or a pastor or, you know, overseer. They have to be able to manage their own home. Are you managing your own home? Passive bishop, overseer, uh, prophetess, you know, deaconess. Are you managing your own home? Then it says their wives are not to be in gossip and around, you know, un, you know, things that are defiling and um, they have to have pure conduct and the, the uh, deacon and the overseer have to have lifestyles where people speak highly. Is everybody speaking highly? Or they're like this pastor, this preacher, this deacon, this teacher, they uh, don't treat people well. They talk about people. They make fun of people. You know, they, you know, um, say different things that aren't uplifting to people. Not that there are people that go around, you know, buttering you up all the time, but you had, there's a way to say something, get it across. It's all about what you say um, and, and how you say it. You can get your point across. There's a difference between um, godly correction versus you're just pure being a bully and you're mocking somebody because of your own ignorance. So be aware, use your discernment and make sure you are all the things on your list that you're trying to tell somebody else they need to be or that they should be doing. Are you doing the same thing as a teacher and preacher? And are you doing it the way that Jesus did it with love, compassion and encouragement? So this is another message from P. Moody. T. Moody. Have a great day, guys. God bless. God bless.